I'm so happy to introduce the last guest of our live stream program. Many of you already know him. He's an incredible teacher and philosopher and, and really just a, a wonderful man that I've had the pleasure of knowing in the past year or two during the pandemic and recently. So let's go ahead and bring him in. Mr. Esfahani, Durud Barshoma. Bah, bah, Iman John. Hello, my friend, Durud Bashuma. And please, first, let me just say to all my fellow Iranians around the world and whoever celebrates this wonderful day, happy Noryus to you, Eidotun Mubarak. And one big question how the hell do we spell Noryus? I have literally seen, I have He's just right. today, right. I've seen 45 different spellings of it. I don't know what, what do I say to somebody? All I'm yeah. doing is, Spelling it the way they're spelling it to me because I'm embarrassed to say, hey, how do you spell this? I, I got to tell you, it's going to be one of those things that's going to have Iranians fighting for it and even Afghans and everybody. I'm going with the N-O-R-O-U-Z. Why? Because it just sounds right to me. Anybody else can do it however they want, my friend. But most importantly, no matter how you spell it, I hope that wherever you are in the world, you've been enjoying and celebrating Nowruz. And Mr. Esfahani, how was your Nowruz? My friend, my Noruz was fantastic. I am so lucky I'm with my family. Um, we're healthy. Nobody has COVID. My, fam my parents have the vaccine. God bless this vaccine. Thanks to technology. Thanks, thanks to, te yes, thanks to God. Thanks to whatever is up there, whatever you believe in. Thank God for this. So I'm very happy, man. I've been hanging out today at my mother's house. Uh, unfortunately, one of my mother's chickens attacked my father again for the third time this week. Uh, I was, it was, you know, I, let's just say I've separated a lot of chicken fights in my life, but this one <laughs> was one that I had uh, real vested interest in it because it was my father. Oh. But other than that, it's a fantastic day. Thank you. How are you, man? Well, well, thank you. So uh, the, chicken, the chickens were harmed. Uh, I hope the fish were also uh, harmed as well when you had uh, some sabji pola mahi, hopefully. We did well. Uh, the, the chickens weren't harmed, thank God. But oh, they, okay. uh, they didn't be, uh, the fish was harmed. We had the white fish, which is honestly the most dangerous fish in the world. Why does it have so many bones? You need to have a microscope to, <laughs> see, to see. I swear, I found a bone this big. I said, hold on, why does any right. animal need a bone this big? Why do you need a bone this big? It's, uh, you know, I don't want to go ah, when I'm eating fish. But my God, this, the place has smelled like high heaven. But uh, it is, again, it's a wonderful tradition because it has so much symbolism, the fish, the sabzi. So we did all that. Um, and uh, man, it was a wonderful time. My dad you know, did a little dancing. You know, this is exactly why you are the philosopher that you are, because you ask these questions that make you want to go, hmm, you know, it's a, it, I, I want to know why whitefish have more bone versus uh, I don't know what other color fish that they are, but why do the why do the white ones? Absolutely, happen? I'm. Yeah. I consider myself like that very old school band, CNC Music Factory. I just ask things that make you go hmm, hmm. and that's a very old <laughs> reference. And I just showed my age. Excuse me, everybody. <laughs> so, so Mr. Esfahani, uh, you know, I, today we've been on the live stream for 23 hours now, and there's been a lot of Mashallah. people that were they were looking forward to you coming on, and you know, they had some questions that they asked, and I felt like. In the spirit of Noru's, uh, would you be willing to take, you know, to help out some people uh, with the questions that they have? Of course, of course. In the spirit right. of Noru's, I have to. Any questions, advice anyone needs, I'm at your service. Okay, well, great. So the first question that's coming from Mariam from Toronto, Canada is, what is the best? Yes, uh, she sounds pretty, doesn't she? <laughs> yes. Okay, so it's like, what is the best way to win an argument? Mm, win an argument. Interesting question. I would answer that by another question. Why do we even want to be in an argument? Hmm? Here, listen to me. Arguing, okay, is like chasing a goat and asking it to come home with you. It won't work, okay? It will never work, okay? And here's the thing. There are some people who, no matter what, they want to be right. No matter what, they want to just argue for the sake of arguing. And these people we call Iranian. That's right. Who are we kidding? Who are we kidding, man? We love to argue. We love to argue. If they would allow arguing in the Olympics, I'm telling Iran would be the number one team in the entire world. But my answer to the question is this. Ask yourself, why do I need to argue? As long as you believe what you believe, you don't have to make everybody else to believe it. That's what gives you the internal confidence of being yourself and being true to your own thoughts. 
Next question. Oh, well, I love that. My, my, answer is, else my, my answer is, you know, why have an argument when there's Google? You know, you just go to Google and you figure out the answer. Of you know? course, uh, it's, <laughs> my God, your, your response was better than mine. <laughs> but of course, sir, you are the philosopher. So over here now, oh, we actually have, oh, Mahbub from Montreal. We have Canada representing here today, apparently. Wow, go, very nice. Go, go Canada. You have a lot of fans in Canada. It's great. Oh, okay. uh, Mahbuba wants to know, but this is not the same Mahbuba, by the way. I have to clarify that. Um, oh, right, right. The, the one yes. and only Mahbuba, who I'm yes, a great fan of. Yes, Absolutely. She, she is phenomenal. And I, she, she was Wonderful. our guest earlier tonight, too. Unfortunately, she had an accident with a fish that I don't want to get into right now, but basically oh. the fish was frozen and oh, it was a hot mess. Uh, you're going to have to talk to her about that later on. Uh, I'm going to have little, to handle it, yeah. Well, talk to her, yeah. Uh, so, what Mahbuba from Montreal is mm -hmm. asking, how do I find true love? Great question. Oh, 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 my God. This is a question that has been in the minds of poets and lovers to the beginning of time. The way I think about this is this. To me, finding love is like driving to the mall and not remembering where you parked your car. You know it's there. You just don't know where. Yes? So, but what's crazy is it's usually right under your nose. You don't know how many times I parked my car at the mall and I'm walking around, I'm circling around, oh my God, oh my God, oh, where is my car? Oh my God, I passed it four times. The love is always somewhere there. TLC, 1990s R&B group said, don't go chasing waterfalls. Stay close to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to. Absolutely. Of course. Yeah, so, shot. yeah, in other days, the Buddhist, Stephen the Buddhist said, they said, do not seek. Do not seek and it comes. I've noticed in my life when I have people, the friends who are like, oh my God, I have to get married. I have to get chastig or all that. It doesn't happen. But once they focus on something else, before you know it, they're married, they're happy. And every night they're making passionate love. You're, you're, you're a true romantic, my friend. It's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank, you, so much. It's thank you so much. Thank you so much. Next so question. I'm looking over here. We have Reza from San Francisco, and he wants Papa. to say, he says, he's saying, my father wants me to be a dentist, but I want to be a veterinarian. How do I talk to him? My friend, this is a very difficult thing that we go to in our culture. I think it comes from a good place. Our families or our immigrants who have to struggle to come here and work, mm. they want us to be at our best. Mm. However, one thing the audience got to understand, get off the damn doctor tip, man. Come on. The guy wants to be a veterinarian. It's just as good as a doctor. People care more for their animals than they do for themselves. You kidding me? He's going to get a lot of business. Don't worry about it. But to answer your question, you look your father in the eye and say, Father, I love you. Thank you for everything. But one day, you're going to be dead, and I'm going to be here stuck with the decisions I made for you. And then I'm going to be angry. I'm not going to show up to your grave. I won't talk to my kids about you. And that's that. I know I went a little dark over there, but I want to make a point that in this life, we got this one life to live. Yeah. It was that, uh, I think it was Hafez that said that. No, it wasn't. It was my grandma. She used to say, you've got this one life to live. You've got to live it. Actually, no, it wasn't my grandma. I think it was the lyrics of a song. But either way, no, what's so important... Far. It's a soap opera. That's the, it's the name of a soap opera. Pedar Sukte. I knew it, man. It was at the tip of my tongue, and then now uh, it's at the top of my ear. So that's what you that that's what I think is 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 uh, is important. You have to be honest with your father, and you know what? He loves you. In the end of the day, once he sees you're doing your thing, he's gonna let you. My father wanted me to be a doctor. I said, Father, I want to be a philosopher teacher, international man of mystery and song and dance. Yes, of course. He said, you you're going to end up on the street. I did for a while, but <laughs> now I'm here and I can tell you, if you stick to your dreams, my friends, you will get there. Oh, oh, oh you'll get there. Oh, 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 you'll get there. I just made that song in the shower earlier. I was sort of testing it out for everybody. But next question. Yeah, Do we have time for more questions? Yeah, I mean, listen, okay. I, 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 got, I would love to end the whole program with you because, you know, we go to midnight Eastern time. So I have all the time that you uh, would like to have with me. Um, so here we go. Let me go through these questions and pick out the best ones. Oh, okay. 
Well, this is interesting. Okay, well, here we go. Arash wants Arash is actually from Orange County. So now we got some California representation. Arash, <laughs> Arash says, I have a crush on my best friend. How do I tell her? Ooh. Oh. 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 That's a Bobby Yikes. Law. Uh, That's a Vavil law. Vavil law. I mispronounced it. But <laughs> nevertheless, this is a tough one, friends. I think we've all been there. But I would say, unfortunately, you are already on an upward slope fighting because it's, you're in the friend zone, right? The friend zone is a hard place to be when you care about somebody in a romantic session, in a romantic way, but they don't feel the same. Let me tell you something, a story, okay? I once had a horse, said a man. I took the horse to the river I said, drink this water. The river said, the horse wouldn't drink it. I, I take the next day, I said, horse, please drink this water. He wouldn't drink it. You know what I find out? That you can take the horse to the water, but you can't make it drink it. So what I'm trying to say is, in a very strange way that I put it, because I probably could have put it much easier and more simple, is don't force it. You can't force it. You can never convince someone to like you. They either like you in that way or they don't. And sometimes if you step over that boundary, you're going to ruin a good friendship. See, everybody can find someone to do sexy with. Everyone can find someone to make good love, bad love, all love. But finding a really good friend, that's hard. And sometimes when you, when you, when you go across that threshold, you're going to ruin something very good and then you're going to regret it. And then you're going to wish you dunk yourself in that same river that the horse wouldn't drink water out of. That's it, man. It's the, life is pretty simple, you know? I was waiting to see at what point uh, this person was going to get kicked by the horse's legs right into the face. But the alternative would have been to end up in the river that they tried oh, to drink oh, it oh. out of. Oh, oh, oh. I have a bad, bad experience with horses, sorry. You do? Yeah, I, I, I once fell off a horse face forward. The horse's name was Barbie, and I'll never talk to it again. <laughs> All right. So, uh, by the way, if you guys are just tuning in, this is Mr. Esfahani, the, the, the you know, highly acclaimed teacher and philosopher. Uh, We're really happy to have him here. Thank you so much for blessing us with your presence at the celebration of Nowruz 1400. Thank you. Thank you very much. Of course, uh, so, it's a pleasure. So, so, for, for, so for those who just dropped in, uh, you know, there's a lot of people who have been asking questions to really see what Mr. Esfani thinks, and he's been kind enough to take time out of his notice schedule to uh, share his deep insights on uh, how to address these really difficult questions that some people are having. For example, um, he, here's, a, here's a guy, his name is Ma, oh, Ma, oh yeah, I'm sorry, Matthew, I guess it's a Mashad, but he goes by Matthew, you know, and he's from Austin, Texas. So it's interesting. Very nice. Yeah. And, and, and he wants to know, how do you get over a broken heart? Oh, 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 oh. Hey, thank you. How do you get over a broken heart? How do you jump over a river? How do you swim through a mountain? You don't. You can't swim through a mountain because it's dirt. There's no water. It's very difficult. There is no real answer except one. Wacht. Time. Time, time, time. Here's a crazy story. I was once walking to a river, said a man. When I got to the river, I lost my train of thought uh, at the river. But, but what was I saying? Oh, yes. What was the question again? I think an over broken heart. Oh my God, what a question. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's, it's, deep one. it's very deep. It's very <laughs> deep. How do you jump over a river? <laughs> How do you swim into a mountain? You don't swim into a mountain because the dirt is nobody there. You know, um, time. Time is the most important thing. I went through that whole silly thing, not because I have dementia, but because I wanted to make a point and say the whole thing twice that only time can hurt the broken, can, can heal a broken heart. We've all had one. We've all had one. We've all had a crush who crushed our hearts. Yes. But you know what you do? Listen to sad music and cry, write your feelings and your thoughts, 
go on walks, drink alcohol. Do drugs. <laughs> do, you know, if you can find them, do them. If you have them, do them. If you have some drugs uh, in the uh, house, of, of course, I'm, Of course, I know she's going to say that, you know, in the background, you know, inappropriate things. You know. Anush, Anush, you're on video because sometimes when you got a broken heart, you got to do what you got to do, huh? Yeah. Uh, no, yeah. but... But no matter what you do, don't it's be self destructive. <laughs> uh, you got all oh, you, you know, you guys in Miami, we're in LA, yeah. everyone, both our cities have serious drug problems. No, but the, the thing is this um, just take the time that you need for yourself, don't be self destructive. Huh? Yeah. Sometimes in these times of pain is when we get the most growth, right? It's kind of like bodybuilding, your muscles hurt. Yeah, they hurt not because there's something wrong, baby. They're growing. They're growing. Right? Absolutely. Which reminds me, I got to go to the gym. My gym just opened finally. Let's go to the next question. That was segue. Sorry about the segue. Go ahead. Next question. <laughs> All right. So we have this wonderful question by, her name is Layla. And she's actually from Los Angeles, which is the city that you're located in. So, so I'm not sure if you know this Layla, although I'm sure there's a lot of Laylas in Los Angeles. Um, she wants to know, what is the key to success, Mr. Esfahani? What is the key to success? Yes. When you, when you ask what is the key to the success, you're, you're basically saying that there is a door. Because without a door, there can't be a key, right? There is no door. There is no secret except one. You don't give up. You never give up. I think it was Hafez that said, never, ever give up. No, that was really Rick Astley. <laughs> that was who? Rick Astley. <laughs> That's what it was. Never going to give you up. Never going to let you go. Never going to turn around and desert you. That's what it was. <laughs> Never give up. If you love it, if it's important to you enough, never give up. I, I wanted to be a philosopher, a teacher, someone that helps people. I never gave up. My God, I used to live in a river, for Christ's sake. A river. That's right. I lived in the river. That's why I think I have so many river references. It's PTSD. <laughs> what I'm saying is your dreams are sometimes going to take you to dark places and places of light. Stick with them both. It's, it's, it's worth to, to keep going and don't give up. What was this person's name? I forgot their name. It was Layla from Los Angeles. Layla in, from Los Angeles. Let me tell you, no disrespect, but in Los Angeles, if you shake a tree, four Laylas will come out of it. Uh, <laughs> it's an absolutely beautiful name. Beautiful name. <laughs> Leila John, I wish you the best in your in in whatever you're doing. Yeah. And just remember, the key to success is not giving up and believing in yourself. I guess that's the key to success is not giving up. But let me add another one: believing in yourself, because sometimes you're the only one that will believe in yourself. And that's it. And that's it. Life is pretty simple, man. When you think of it like that. Man, I feel like as long as you figure out a way to reference a river or a waterfall, I really do believe that life is simplified. It's very simplified. Exactly. Yeah. Look for a reference point for yourself, right? And remember, yeah. remember what TLC said. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Stay close to the water, the rivers that are close. I'm messing up the words now, but you know what it is. But uh, <laughs> yes. Wow. Well, I mean, I, I do have to say that you really provide a lot of valuable uh, advice and um, I have no doubt that Leila and Mahbube and Mahshad and and I can't read the other one, but you know I think that they were they now have some guidance, you know, because everybody just needs a guidance. Somebody gets lost all the time uh, in life, you know, whether it's a broken heart or not knowing what to do career-wise or family pressures, you know, and. Um, you know, I, I really appreciate you taking the time to kind of guide these people so they don't stumble into the river. You know, like you want them to get on the bridge that will take them to the higher land, you know, not into the river, right? I think of course. Add, I think we can add one more thing. Oh, I as, have, have, as Snap said, I got the power. Oh. I got the power. <laughs> 
Another great one. Excellent. My man, you are on fire tonight with these song references and I love you for it. <laughs> but Imanja, thank you so much for having me. You, you've put on, so, you put so much work into this. I really appreciate you, and I appreciate your time you gave me. Of course, and Mr. Esfahani, I really hope that uh, we can have these conversations more often. I feel like as a culture, of Persians, you know, we don't address these challenges enough. You know, all these problems that families have, whether it's their uh, pressures from the parents or heartbreak or depression. Oh, you know, no, so no, I no, hope no. that we have opportunities more often. To have these conversations. I mean, I consider you and millions of Iranians around the world as a sage of sorts, you know, and they look up to you and they always want to listen to you and, and take notes from, from the great advice that you give them. So I really appreciate you sincerely. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm so flattered. I thank you, everybody. Thank you so much for listening to me. And if you're thinking, what are this man's qualifications for giving this advice? I have absolutely none, <laughs> except for the love in my heart and the concern for all of you out there. Thank you so Thanks. much, Iman Thank, Thank you. you. And, and speaking of the love in your heart, you know, I really appreciate the, uh, the multiple attempts of making the promotional video to tell people about this program. You know, I know that the garbage truck was really frustrating and I could, I could sense slight frustration uh, just solely based on your hair, you know, that, you know, yeah. it was just becoming frustrating, you know, but, you know, it's, as they say, it's the effort that, that counts, you know, and you definitely gave it a solid effort. Thank you very much. It could have been much better, but I forgot it was fucking freaking Thursday. I know. If I remember it was Thursday when the trash people came, but what can you do? That these poor people are doing the job outside, yeah, you know, and true. I did the best I could. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I think Thank I you. slipped saying the F word, so I apologize to your listeners for, well, for saying that. It's a good thing that we don't give a fuck here, so I really appreciate hey! it. <laughs> hey! My man, fuck it, huh? <laughs> fuck it all. Fuck it all. <laughs> love it, love it, love it, love yeah. it. <laughs> Put a little love in your heart. There you go. You're like a one man karaoke machine. I love it, man. It's speaking the best. Of, speaking of love and you know cheesy songs from the 80s and 90s. What is love? Yeah. Lady, don't hurt me. Don't no. hurt me. No more. What is love? My God. All we need is a little tequila. We're gonna have the best party right here, us three, man. And oh, of is, course, all your little, all, all the nice club music. <laughs> you know what the three of us should do one of these days? We should get into the back of the car of a taxi and then start going to a club in New York. And we play. We have a suit. We have a black shirt, no tie, and we just go like this. Oh you know? yeah, sure. <laughs> nice. Love it. Love it. Love you know? it. With so, so had a day, you know, had a day, you know. Exactly. All that. Plus N95 masks for all three of us. Of course, N95 masks. You know, you okay. cannot have that right now. All okay. right, Thank, you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Well, right. Thank you so Appreciate much. Appreciate you. Thank and, you, my uh, John. And have a wonderful day. Happy New Year to you and your family, my friend. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, all everybody. Right. Thank Take you. Bye-bye.